Wow, nice safety lock. Yes, my ex student gave it to me. Can you buy one for me? Oh, I'm sorry. This is just a prototype. Not available oh. in market. Oh. Can I look it? Sure. Wow. Very small and lightweight. Can you ask him to make it for me? I can ask him, but I'm not sure he can make another one. Okay, let's go. My friend here have interested to buy the lock that you give to me another day. Do you have some more? Oh, bring bring the sample. This one. This is just the prototype. Actually, just for testing. I make last time using a resin prototype. Oh, so you can make another one. All right, give me a week. Mechanical engineering is a broad field that encompasses industry, business, medicine, and even law. Planning and designing mechanical objects is the primary focus of mechanical engineers, whether they are producing engine and motor components or complete devices like refrigerators and robots. Design programs like AutoCAD help mechanical engineers do their jobs by helping them create preliminary designs and spot flaws before production, saving time and resources. Computer aided design is the use of computer systems to aid in the creation, modification, analysis or optimization of a design. CAD software is used to increase the productivity of the designer, improve the quality of design, improve communication, through documentation and to create a database for manufacturing. CAD output is often in the form of electronic files for print, machining or other manufacturing operations. Computer aided design is used in many fields. Its use in designing electronic systems is known as electronic design automation. In mechanical design, it's, it is known as mechanical design automation or computer aided crafting. It, it is known as CAD, which includes the process of creating a technical drawing with the use of computer software. or known as STL is used to convert CAD drawing to rapid prototype process. This file format is supported by many other software packages. It is widely used for rapid prototyping, 3D printing and computer aided manufacturing. STL files describe only the surface geometry of a three-dimensional object without any representation of color, texture or other common CAD models attributes. An STL file describes a raw, unstructured, triangulated surface. By the unit normal and vertices of the triangles, use a three-dimensional Cartesian coordinate system. Rapid prototyping is the example of CAD output from the AutoCAD design. Rapid prototyping is a group of techniques used to quickly fabricate a scale model of a physical part or assembly use three-dimensional computer aided design. Construction of the part or assembly is usually done using 3D printing or additive layer manufacturing technology. The 3D rapid prototyping process combines 
3D CAD models and specialized printing machines that cut and additively sinter metal. Numerical control is the automation of machine tools that are operated by precisely programmed commands encoded on a storage medium as opposed to controlled manually by hand wheels or levers or mechanically automated by cams alone. Most NC today is computerized numerical control known as CNC in which computers play an integral part of the control. In modern CNC systems, end-to-end -end component design is highly automated using computer-aided design and computer-aided manufacturing programs. The programs produce a computer file that is interpreted to extract the commands needed to operate a particular machine by use of the POST processor and then loaded into the CNC machines for production. Today, the most common type of such automation is computer numerical control, better known as CNC. CNC is also commonly used with many other types of machining besides turning. Turning can be done manually in a traditional form of lathe which frequently requires continuous supervision by the operator or by using an automated lathe which does not. Milling Milling is the machining process of using rotary cutters to remove material from a workpiece by advancing or feeding in a direction at an angle with the axis of the tool. It covers a wide variety of different operations and machines on scales from small individual parts to large heavy duty gang milling operations. It is one of the most commonly used processes in industry and machine shops today for machining parts to precise sizes and shapes.